guys. Last year, I made a video about the Antlion ModMic Wireless, a wireless gaming microphone with pretty much no competition in the space. Actually, it kind of created its own space. I did chew Antlion up a little bit just for some stuff that I would have preferred seeing with the product, but they told me, don't worry, we're working on something new. Well, I didn't expect this to be the something new. Today, we're looking at the Kimura Duo from Antlion on your boot sequence. So this is the Kimura Duo. If we boil it down, it's a pair of quality IEMs with a microphone attached. Now you might wonder, what the hell are IEMs? Why don't you just call them earphones or earbuds? That's what they are, right? Well, not really. So the big difference between IEMs and earbuds is mainly about the distance that they travel inside of your ear. In-ear monitors or IEM will usually travel further into your ear canal, whereas earbuds will usually just sit on the edge. Anyways, back to the Kimura lineup, because there's more than just one product. Antlion actually offers a Kimura Solo, which is a single driver IEM with the microphone, and the Kimura Duo, which is the one that I have here, which has two drivers inside. One dynamic driver to take care of the big soundstage, that's the big circle thing inside there, the cylindrical one, and a balanced armature driver to help with the higher frequencies. I can't really point out where it is exactly inside of the body. And lastly, they also offer the Kimura cable. If you already own a pair of IEMs and you just want a microphone kit with it, then that's what you can get. They offer it in both MMCX connector, which is what you see here, and also two pins for uh, other kind of IEMs if you have some. The Solo and the Duo all come with MMCX kits, so this very specific adapter. The price ranges from $60 for the cable kit with the microphone alone, then you have $100 for the Kimura Solo, which does come with the cable, and $150 for the kit that I have here, which is cables and the Kimura Duo. Now in the box, besides the IEMs and the cable microphone, you get four different earpieces. So you got small, medium, large, and a foam one that's kind of in between large and medium. Because I have tiny ears, I had to use their smallest size, which is very, very small. Take a look at how small this is compared to the big one. Let me show you the big one too. So yeah, here's the difference between my tiny ear canal and uh, somebody of a larger stature here. Here you go. I decided to bring some blue paper so that you guys could see better. So the Kimura cable ends in a split cable for the mic output and the sound input. But Antlion does provide a tiny little adapter in case your device doesn't have a split port connector like a laptop or an Xbox controller. Oh, and there's a little puck sized bag that comes with it that has uh, a nice little like scratchy K on top of it. Everything fits right inside of here. The ear hooks on the cable are fully adjustable. All you gotta do is just, you know, bend them like that. And because I have tiny ears, it really needs to be a short radius for the cable. And uh, this handles it perfectly. Look, look at how small my ears are relative to the rest of my head. Like, what the hell is this? Mom, dad, why? I mean, look at this. They go straight back and are tiny at the same time. Uh, I was not blessed in the ear genetics. And of course, the mic is adjustable too, so you can move it around uh, however far you would like. All right, let's stop talking about the product. How do they sound? I'm actually very surprised. I've tried a bunch of earphones and buds in my life, and wow, the sound quality is crystal Clear. Everything in the high end is super crisp in the good accurate sense. The bass is smooth and not too overpowering. It does bleed a little tiny bit into the mid range, but I only recognize this because I've been using KRK speakers all my life and this is a very similar sound signature. But yeah, A plus for the Kimura Duo. Plus, it stays accurate even at super high volumes, which you really don't want to push on these unless your plan is to go deaf. So yeah, that's about it for the sound quality. I do wanna add one thing. It seems like they were tuned a little bit for uh, gaming specifically, uh, you know, to hear footsteps better and all that kind of jazz. Uh, I would have preferred they kept it flat, but it still has a relatively flat sound. For the second part though, how does the microphone sound? Well, in antlion fashion, it actually sounds great. Go ahead, uh, Holmes Nose, talk to them about it. 
So I have to do the sound test at home since I wanted to give it a challenge. We're currently renovating one of our rooms and it's basically bare with one desk, a PC and a couple of shelves. This will let you know how this handles when you might have some reverb in the room. Thankfully, utilities do exist to remove noise like NVIDIA broadcast, but what you're hearing is unmodified. Here's a second test with something you might have an issue with too. I just turned on my AC and it's running in the background behind me at about a seven foot distance. And this is usually problematic with condenser style microphones that pick up everything. So here you can judge. Personally, for me, it's an A plus headset microphone. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I had to reverse the footage a couple of times to make this shot work. The last thing we have to touch on is a, damn, okay. The sound isolation, by the way, is terrific on these things. The last thing we have to touch on is of course, the wire. As a PC gamer who has a mod mic wireless, I couldn't switch to the Kimura. The sound quality of the IEMs is amazing and they're super comfortable, but don't get me wrong, I just know that if I switched to a wired system, I would trip up on it all the time. Not to say that I wouldn't use them, these are awesome for consoles. You know, you just have your earphones here and it goes directly into your uh, controller for PS5 or um, Xbox. It's just that I'd rather have my controller get yanked when I forget that my headphones are in than my entire desktop PC or audio interface, you know, when I forget that they're in. Did I say that twice? I think I did. Anyways, the only thing missing here from this uh, Kimura mess is a mute button for the microphone. I mean, seriously, it's the only downside I can find on this. Uh, there should have been a mute button right here. Right here was the perfect place to put a mute button. But yeah, they didn't. Honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. You usually can mute yourself on a controller. I'm not sure I'm not that big of a console gamer, but I mean, you guys can answer that question. Turns out you can't. Xbox added a feature last year where you could remap the share button to do other stuff, but it turns out that in that list, there's no push to talk or mute mic. Instead, you have to go through the menu. As for uh, PS5, there's a mute button, but it's for the mic built into the controller. Not sure if it would also mute the headset mic, but I highly doubt it. Anyways, back to the conclusion. And um, yeah, uh, besides that, this is a great product for 150 bucks, great value. Thank you a lot, Antlion, for sending it over. Um, I'm looking for that uh, mod mic update, please. I want USB-C and everything I discussed on my video. Go check it out, it's gonna be uh, right up here. Uh, in any case, that's pretty much it for the Kimura Duo review. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. I'll be there for a couple of weeks answering all of your questions. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.